Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part 16 of the travel bus project. In the last class, we discussed about admin will add the destination points. In this video, we will say admin will view the destination points. So, here I will try to go to my Visual Studio editor and um, here I will try to go to the project and add new item. Select web form with master press. The name I will try to give here as view destination points view destination points dot aspx select the master page ok and here I will go to the design window In my design here I will try to go to the toolbox and drag and drop the grid view control from the toolbox right. So now I need to initially display the destination points in the grid view control. So first of all I want to create the procedure. So here I create the stored procedure, create procedure, procedure name, prvs underscore display d points as begin and select start from destination, press F5. And once here you press F5, these all are the destination points that are available. Now, so here grid view control will have a property called auto generate columns. By default this property is true. It means that we are the uh, grid view will automatically generate the columns. So I will set this property as false. And then uh, I want to customize the grid view control. So select the ellipse button, click on edit columns. And there we need to select two bound fields. One for DID, other one is DNAME. And select the bound field one. Here bound field have two properties. One is header text, other one is data field. Header text is used to display the column heading within the grid view control. And data field is used to bind the uh, data set data column by column within the grid view control. So data field name must be equal to uh, your uh, table column name. Header text may be any name. So here I will give header text for bound field one is DID and the other one is DNAME. So select the DID. Here you can have one more property called data field. Data field name must be equal to what? Column name. So here my column name is DID. Is it clear? So here I will give the data field as DID and similarly select the DNAME data field I will try to give as DNAME. Is it clear? And then select the each bound field and click on convert this field to template field. Then automatically the code that is responsible uh, to generate the templates will be generated within your source code. Here you see item template and edit item template will be automatically generated. I hope you understood. Now I want to display the data with the grid view control. First of all, I'll go to the data access layer. And within the data access layer, I need to uh, declare one region here. So here I will declare hash region. The name of the region I'll give as view D points. View destination points. And I will declare one method. So here I will declare the method. The name of the method is view D points. And the written type of the method is data set. Step number one, create the connection, open the connection, pa we are pass the procedure using SQL command class and then we are passing the CMD object to data adapter. So whenever you work with stored processor, if you want to pass the values, uh, then definitely we have to use SQL command class. And mention that we are working with stored processor, create an object for data set and fill the data in uh, data set. Is it clear? Here if you want, you can go destination. This is alias name for the data set and written data set so build the solution now go to business logic layer and within the business logic layer i want to declare one more method so here also i will declare one region so hash region the name of the region i will give as uh, view d points so here i will declare the method the name of the method is view d points and here i will call the method obj dal dot view d points and the written type of the method is data set is it clear? So, build the solution. Now go to um, your view destination points dot ASPX, that is your presentation layer. And here uh, I will try to go to the view code. And within the page load, here I will try to declare the namespace using business logic layer. And um, here I will try to declare one method, something like private void fill d points. Is it clear? Bracket open, bracket close. Here I will create an object for business logic layer. Dot business logic layer obj bll is equals to new business logic layer of. Now call the method obj bll dot what is the method name? 
um, view D points. Is it clear? And uh, the written type of the method is what? Data set. So data set is available in the namespace using system.data. So I will declare the namespace using system.data and the written type of the method is data set ds. And now I will try to fill this data in the grid view control. So here you can see grid view one dot data source is equal to ds. It means that we are intimating to the grid view your data source is data set and then bind the data. Grid view one dot data bind method. So here we need to call the method in phase load if uh, is post back is equals to false and here we have to call the method fill d points press f and here we need to go to the design window select admin master page dot master select the ellipse button edit menu items and here you can select uh, view and the navigate url i will try to give as view destination points dot aspx okay so here i will try to select the grid view control edit columns and um, I don't want to display the DID. I want to display only D name in the grid view control. So I will make visible is equals to false. Okay. So here once debug and check the output. So here all the destination names are displaying. If you want to enable paging, you, so I want to enable paging. Select grid view control. Here you see a property called yellow paging. By default it is false and make that as true. And page size I will give as 5. So I want to display only 5 destination points for a particular page so whenever user clicks on page number then page index changing event will fail select the ellipse button here you can see events go to the properties window there you can see an event called page index changing event is it clear so double click on this event and write the code so here i will write grid view one dot there is one property called page index is equals to e dot new page index it means that whenever you click on page number, then it has to display the next five records in the other page. And again, I want to fill the D points in that second page. Press F5 and check the output. Here you can see, within the page, it is displaying only five records on a single page, the next five records in the other page. I hope you understood. Actually, in this video, I want to concentrate on row command event. So actually, uh, in our previous uh, session, I discussed about how to perform auto-generate edit button, auto-generate delete button and all these operations. But in this video, I will focus more on the row command event. So, I want to display one uh, button control within the grid view control. Delete button within the grid view control. I don't want to use this property, auto-generate delete button. So, I will select the grid view control, select ellipse button, click on edit columns. There you can see a template called button fail just click on add button send this button field on the top and here you can say the text for the button i will give as delete is it clear and um, here i will just convert to template field and uh, click on ok then automatically you can find one delete button this is not auto generate delete button just a normal delete button i am displaying within the grid view control Right, so here, whenever user clicks on this delete button, then automatically, whenever user clicks on any standard control within the grid view control, whether it is delete button or radio button or any button control, then row command event will fire, which is a very powerful event. So, as a programmer, you must know how to catch the index value within this row command event. Once debug and check the output so that you can understand. So, here when user clicks on delete button, then automatically row command event will fire. Right. Similarly, here I want to update one more button I want to display within the grid view control. So, here you can see select the grid view control, ellipse button, click on edit columns. Here you can add one more button field. Click on add button. Is it clear? And the text for the button I will try to give as update. Is it clear? Select convert this field to template field. Okay. So, when user clicks on delete button or update button, then the same event will be fired that is row command event. Is it clear? So, as a programmer, you must know how to catch the values within the row command event. Just here you can see. If you know how to catch the values within the row command event, we can do any type of program. That is very powerful event. See here. When user clicks on update button, then row command event will fire. When user clicks on delete button, then also row command event will fire. Is it clear? But before going to this, we need to discuss about a small concept. 
like here you can see this is about row command event right so grid view control so here you have grid view one underscore row command is what method actually it is not an event it is a method row command is event what is the difference between method and event method will have written type at least void but event does not have any written type this method will have two parameters one is object space and the other one is grid view command event args e here grid view command event args is what a class here you see select that class and press f12 here you see grid view command event args is class this class is inheriting from command event args class is it clear so a grid view command event args class is inheriting from is extending or inheriting from command event args class command event args class will have two properties one is command argument and command name these two properties are very powerful properties when we work with row command event the written type of command argument is object and the written type of command name is what string is it clear so in the next video we will discuss about uh, how to work with this command argument as well as command name right so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel have a nice day thank you